Hi everyone, so this is the gazelle and if you follow my blog under cherrytree.com you will know that I have been going crazy with the black skid marks that this cutter has been leaving on my white table so I have um, solved that problem somewhat by getting this cutting mat and putting under this cutter in order to protect my desk and also you if you read my blog you will also know that the ugly transparent silver um, USB cable was driving me up the wall and I have solved that problem for myself by getting um, actually I'm using the silhouette cable so that it matches with my mat and yes um, that matters to me might not matter to you but I need everything to be matchy matchy and um, since I am recording this I will show you something nifty that I actually do like about this cutter. It has this drawer. Well, it's useful when I can pull it out. Well, I can't pull it out with one hand. Ah, I can't pull it out with one hand. It's really stiff, but I'll take a picture of it and post it on my blog. It's actually a little drawer here and on the other side. There are two of it where I could keep my extra cutting blades. And now, let me show you um, how to cut with this cutter. So one of the first things you will notice with this machine is that it comes with only seven buttons. And the first button on the left, no, the first button on the right is the on off button. Let me show it to you. This one, that's the power on off button. And this second button over here is what has been confusing me. I found this button very confusing. Maybe it's just me, but um, in order to adjust the speed and the pressure, I will need to keep this button off. And in order to feed in my cutting mat, I have to remember to turn it on. So this second button changes the operating mode of the cutter. So I can never remember when to turn it off, when to turn it on. So I just took a Sharpie and indicated on the machine. So now I know that when I want to adjust the speed and the pressure, I know to turn it off. And when I want to feed in my cutting mat, I will need to turn this second button on. Okay, now let me show you um, how I feed in the cutting mat. In order to fit in the cutting mat, I will off on. I will need to turn it on. And I will press okay, that button over here. Now, because the origin of the gazelle is on the lower right corner, I will need to fit in the cutting mat all the way. And by origin, I mean the starting point for the blade. Now, in case you're wondering how to move the blade sideways, there are no buttons on the cutter for that. You will need to do it manually with your finger by moving this carriage sideways, like that. And also, this blade holder is not the one that came originally with the cutter. I um, bought this as an extra accessory. I don't know what they call it on the Boss Cut website, but it is um, commonly known as the click holder. It looks very much like the one that came that comes with the Cricut machine. Now there is this um, laser registration thingy which basically um, shows a light at the back of the blade or, or under the carrier thingy but I'm not going to touch on that topic today. So right now I'm going to use make the cut to cut out a butterfly and before I cut 
I need to turn off this button and now I will click on start okay so the paper that I'm using today is um, by Michael's Recollections brand and in order to move this thing on I need to okay in order to move the mat out I will need to keep this button on well you can still tell that I am very confused still despite writing this thing but I'm getting used to it or trying to get used to this cutter and I have set um, for this Cardstock, I have set the speed at 2, the pressure at 1, and the blade depth at 1. And let's see if it cuts out cleanly. Yeah, nice and clean. Alright, so that's all for today. Thank. Um, if you want to read more or follow me along as I experiment and make something with this cutter just join me on my blog under a cherry tree .com. see you later over there bye <laughs>